Hello everyone, so in this video we're going to be trying to load into Age of Wushu 3D or Nine Jin as it's actually translated to for, well, not just Nine Jin, that's just like the shortened version of it as the game's actually translated into which is basically Sword of Shadows but uh, yeah, we're going to be showing what actually happens when you try to load into it on a, a Samsung Galaxy S5. So yeah, let's let's give it a go, shall we? <laughs> no, this is not what we want. Did I click the wrong thing? Probably. Yes, I did. There it is. I've already tried several things. I've tried uninstalling and reinstalling. I've tried clearing data. All of that goody goody stuff. And now we can't fix the problem. As you've probably seen from the video I've already uploaded, I've had to put it on my S8. And it's working perfectly fine. So there's definitely nothing actually wrong with the server itself. This is one problem you get. Sometimes you get jammed on here. Sometimes you can get past that bit. We'll just go through this. We'll go through, let's see. It's trying to a character I was using about half hour ago. That I was using when I before I uploaded the video, which is now on YouTube. And server 115, if I remember correctly. It's my account, there's my character. In the last video, I upgraded this character to about level 50. Oh, I forgot to do the return to Jinzu level 2. But I won't be able to do that on here because I know it's going to crash me out. And this is basically what happens. It's loaded in and boom. And then I'll do that every time you try. There's nothing you can do. You get no message. It's just straight close out of the game. We'll try again. And this is the problem that you will be facing on um, Sword of Shadows. After a certain amount of updates, you've got basically, I would say a year from where our game is to where this one is before you start getting these problems because as I've already mentioned before this game isn't really suited towards low-end devices or even mid-end devices the game's basically made for proper top high-end devices Let's see if we can even load up the notifications. Hang on, this is it, ain't it? Loads up differently on here, if I remember correctly. We don't want that. But as you know from... I'm going to actually, we're going to try this one more time. And then I'm going to try something else as well. No, go in. Come on. And we're in, and let's quickly cross this. Uh, nope, we can't even close that box before it crashes. Lovely. To understand the problem, it's just that the game isn't really compatible 
running on jelly bean i guess so is that what i'm on i think i'm on the jelly bean or marshmallow and it's just not a high enough software for it to be able to run this game now this is the sort of shadows that i've clicked on so we're not trying to load up the chinese one now this one i believe will still work just it'll be very laggy but to understand what i mean by the game really isn't compatible this is the notification for notice when it tells you about updates and stuff like that and it's only telling us on here about this new update well, obviously i know about it because it tells me on my s8 across here well you can't even see my taps but um yeah you can you know what i'll make a video after this when i do my next video i'll bring up the notification on my s8 and as you can see on my s5 it can't even display the notice telling you to like us on facebook which is found towards the top and then below that new updates that are coming and you can't see any of it that's the notice and we get this lovely but yeah you can load up um sort of shadows as it currently is on an s5 and this is the last out i was using on this phone my dragar well drags roll i think it is not dragar dragar's a player on there from another game one of Asabimo's games. I can't use the jump skill because for some reason it isn't working. I'm trying to hold it to sprint, but it's not letting me. I'm not actually sure why. I can do jump, but I can't sprint. Can I attack? Yes, I can attack. That's working correctly. Maybe I haven't learned the sprint icon. That might be it. Let's find out by the sprint thing. That's probably it, to be honest. I haven't learned it. Let's put these on first. Just because, well, why not? I think I should start making some of my outs stronger. Upgrade them a bit so I can help people more on stories. Right, I believe one of these will be the sprint skill. That's it. So that's why I couldn't use it. Mm-hmm. some of these and as you can tell with this character because I'm able to learn all these after using return to Jinzu as you can see from these boxes down here I obviously skipped all of the story which means all the story will be located in the quest list I hope I didn't have my finger over the mic the whole time. I think I probably did. Oops. But yeah, I was just basically saying that um, I skipped all of the story, which is why I was able to use those. So all the stories are located in here. With this character. And uh, yeah, um, with the... Um, just trying to work out how to hold this without covering the mic. I'll have to hold it like this, I guess. So this is sort of shadows. You can't load up um, 
the Chinese version on an S5 anymore because it's too updated. And so the game will no longer run on the S5, it'll just close. And that means you will no doubt get the same problem on here. Let's see what happens when I try to run this in high quality. Get the best quality. Move this out of the way. No, it's too close. Let's move that down here for a moment. Cross that. Move this back up. Yeah, we're getting a lot of lag there when I use sprint skills. I forgot what it was like to try to play the game with um, on this phone. Man, that's hell. that back to lowest quality but um yeah so the problem that you saw me having on uh, the chinese version it will happen to this sort of shadows version at some point so i would suggest that you upgrade your phone to really at least i would say at least a samsung galaxy s7 just to or an S8 just to be on the safe side. And um, yeah. That's it for this video. Have a good day. Oh and uh, in one of my next few videos. Not sure which one. Um, when I'm on Sword of Shadows. I'll uh, show you the notice. So that you can see the notice displays on the S8. And you'll be able to see what the updates say. So if you're on something like an S5 or something like that. So you've got the same problem that I have on this phone. Where you can't actually see what the notice says. You'll be able to see from my next video. I'll think of something to make a video on. And I'll record it. I can't switch between games or anything like that on the S8. When I'm recording using the game tool. And it's built in recorder option. Because unfortunately, as soon as you click on the Windows key to drop to a different window, the uh, game tool is disactivated because it works from an edge. So um, basically what you would do is you'd slide the side across and turn the record on. And when you use that, it closes it off. So when you're at a home screen like this, you can't actually record. So you'd have to download an application, I believe, to do that. Unless there's another way around it. I'm still learning some stuff on the S8. But uh, yeah, so that's why I didn't switch between the games on my S8 like I actually was going to. So I was going to do a comparing. While, like I was going to have a look at what the updates were saying and then checking them out on the um, Sword of Shadows, well, Age of Wushu and identifying each different thing that's mentioned in the update and what it could be on the game but uh yeah as soon as you minimize it ends the recording so you'd have to start a new recording and doing loads of like part one part twos and all that stuff and i don't like that stuff so yeah i've done it basically like this just recorded it what i wanted to do for that game off that game so um yeah, we'll end this here. Thank you for watching. And this video is basically an emergency warning for what's going to happen with Sword of Shadows. So make sure you upgrade to a new phone. And I would suggest a Samsung Galaxy S8 or above. Oh, and um, let me see if I can find... Give me a moment. Let's go there. No oh, Krishna. That's where I got the S8 from. I want to see if they've still got any available. And I'll copy the link if they have.
this the, the this thing you're looking for has ended. Okay, no problem. That's how much it costs for me to get under seventy five. And they had stock. So now what we're gonna do once this is loaded is I'm actually gonna show you how to find factory well straight from factory phones like this like the one that the s8 that i'm using or how i go about finding them on ebay so first of all what you'll do oh god not what i want it what are you doing no i'm not trying to download the app So first of all, you'd go, if it'll let me, it's not going to let me type because of the problem with my phone. What is it doing? It's just loading loads of stuff. My S, I, M, Samsung Galaxy. So first of all, you'd search that, and you don't just go for looking for the newest ones, or the cheapest ones, or anything like that. So what you're doing is you're looking for things like new factory unlocked, That what that basically is telling you is it's open to any network because it's unlocked, new factory, so that's telling you it's basically straight from factory. Reconditioned obviously means that it's an old phone that's been reformatted. So that'd be like, say, this is my S5. If I was to reformat it, delete everything that's on here at the moment, reformat it back to factory settings, this would be classed as a reconditioned phone. Well, technically, it'd be classed as a pre-owned phone but you people do sell it as reconditioned because technically it is because you've reformatted it which basically sets your phone back to factory settings and that's not the same as what these are but uh, yeah the one that I brought which had 600 in stock has ended but you've got this one here same price which means it's probably the same person now the reason I like to go for ones like this is because they come cheap compared to all the others. If you have a look through the options of what phones, what they're being sold for, this is three ninety. Buy it now, four hundred. That's a that's an um, S eight plus. So that's obviously expected to cost a bit more. This one's nice, so you might want to go for this. What I want to do, I'm going to go and take a quick look at this, see what it says. S5 to uh, 64, good. Fifty-one sold. That's good. That means he, this person. Has um, got a selection of different ones. He's not selling just one. He's selling a group of them. So if you're having problems with money, this is probably a good one to go to. And I would suggest to do that now. What I'm trying to do is copy this link, but it's not going to let me, is it? Because I've loaded it up through Facebook. But uh, yeah, I would suggest you, if you're having problems with money, to go check this one out. As you can see, it costs less than mine did. Let's see what it says here. It's unlocked, so it's open to any network. Smartphone, this phone has been net unlocked. Yeah, no, that's what, you, that's what unlocked means. So we'll work with any network. 12 months free warranty, including... No, I don't, hang on, wait. Don't want that, click back.
Rave Mall. Or is that the Rave Mall or Arches? Change cargo only. No other accessories are included. Right. Um. So with this one, you do miss out on some of the accessories that I got. So like I got the um headphones and stuff like that. I don't use them. To be honest, I should. It'll be better for my YouTube videos, but I don't use them. But um, with this one, it looks like you don't get the headphones and. It says you have charger cable only. So, if you're one of those ones that's got the older Samsung devices and you've got the old chargers, you won't get the swap, which is the, um, I think it's called a Type B to a Type C. Because on the S8s, uh, they use a different charger port for plugging into the phone. So, one of the things you get with them are these... Um, the things for swapping the uh, charger. So you may not get that with it. Since it does say charger cable only. No access uh, accessories are included. If you have any questions. Please feel free to contact. You should ask if they've got the um, type B to type C. If not. I would say go for the 375 one. Because you get the accessories with it as well. But if you just need to get a cheap phone with a charger, this is probably your best one. But it's not available for long. But yeah, take a look through them. That one that, that, that's just highlighted doesn't look good because it says grey unlocked O2, which basically means it might not be unlocked. You have to read the descriptions carefully. For me personally, I like to go for factory. Unlocked and factory, so they're my top picks. I did the same with my Samsung Galaxy S5. This one I'm using right now to record this video. And until I started playing that game and it became heavily updated, this phone was really damn good. So, yeah. So what you want to do when you go to these is, first of all, you'll want to scroll down. This is if you're doing it on a mobile device. It'll tell you here to choose a colour. Let's say you want it in black, select it. There you go, it's selected. How many of them you want? Let's say you wanted seven of them. But uh, no, let's be realistic. Go for one. You can buy it now. We, well, we're not going to do that. You want to scroll down to here, check the quantities. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Conditions, this is telling me the information about it because I clicked on it. How many they've sold so far, how many is available. No, I didn't want to do that. I did make an unboxing video, but unfortunately it's on my friend's phone, Krishna's phone. So... When he next pops down, we'll upload it. This is the, yeah. But this is from the same person I brought mine from. And I've got to say, yeah, exactly the same from the Essex United Kingdom description. And I've, damn, I didn't want to do that. And I've got to say, this guy is good. Let's see if I can find information about the seller. So that you guys can go check him out and, you know, um, contact seller. Uh, oh, but yeah, basically what they do is, 
registered as business so basically what they do is they start up their own company so what you do is you register yourself self-employed as a business and then what they're able to do is they get a business card i know that because my mom had one when she was doing a self-employed job and uh with the business card well depending on what you register in you can buy phones from factories at factory price instead of as retail price and that allows them to sell it on and make a profit so that they can sell them cheap and keep everybody happy at the same time so they buy it straight from the factory and then from there they have it shipped over to a holding facility normally like a storage unit and then you ship it out from there Come on, that I want to know who the seller is. Factory sealed with extended two year warranty. The reason I want to bring up the seller is because I know this guy's good. I got my phone and I've used the, uh, is it called the Antutu or something like that, to check what the phone um, is running on and running as. And all the specs are spot on. So, yeah. I can tell you without a shadow of a doubt. This guy sells legit Samsung Galaxy S8. They run perfectly. Which is why I want to bring up his information. But I don't know how to. Anyway, it's another thing you want to do. Passage and packaging is done, done, done. If you want to go down to comments, I can't remember how to bring up the comments on here though. You always want to go down to here because it gives you an idea of whether they can be trusted or not. So you want to check these positive feedbacks, neutral feedbacks, negative feedbacks. There's not many negative, which tells you that you've got a pretty good chance of getting a really good phone. You know what I mean? The chances of getting, and it does happen, people do buy things from a factory and it might not be up to scratch. This guy, when I read through the, um, read through his um, information, about the device and that i i believe he hang on yeah here it is returns accepted oh i didn't want to do that returns accepted within 30 days so when you get your device if you've got any problems you can contact him and return uh, return postage buyer pays return postage so you'd have to pay the return postage fair enough you know what I mean? Because, you know, you've paid the money for the phone. He shipped it out for you, so you can't really moan at that. Return policy. This is the information if you need to return it because there's something wrong with it. Because there are occasions where you can buy a phone from a back factory and you can end up getting a dodgy one. But that doesn't happen too often. So yeah, I'm going to end this video in a bit. But first, before I do, I want to bring up this guy's information because I know he's good. And when it comes to purchasing phones from eBay, you really want to be checking out towards, say, Factory Unlocked, Samsung Galaxy S8 in this case. I mean, you definitely want it to be unlocked and straight from factory is what you're really looking for you know factory unlocked not factory resetted that basically means it's a phone that's been resetted to factory settings you know what i mean that's not the same as factory unlocked new factory i mean that's basically telling you that it's brand new from the factory conditions new a brand new so and so
unused yeah brand new unused you click on there it'll bring up more information so da 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 how do i this is good people who visited this page also viewed these ones so you can check what other people are viewing as well yeah okay i'm gonna find out to bring up his information i might only be able to do it through this which is a pain in the ass right i'm gonna pause this video right here because for obvious reasons i'm not well giving you my password And now we're back, signed in. Well, I don't bloody well now. I don't use eBay. That's why I get my brother to do. Right, I'm pausing this again. Looks like I found it. Okay, so this is the guy's name. So this is what you're basically be searching for. I assume that's his name anyways. G C M M three R C E. So you're really looking for that guy to basically purchase phones off. If you want to get a cheap Samsung Galaxy S eight with all the accessories, and I mean the headphones, you'll get the um, the Type B to Type C charger swap over. So let's say, for example, you're using an old Samsung Galaxy S5 like me, you've got the old, you got the charger for the Samsung Galaxy S5, you've got your S8, you've got your S8 charger, one, two years later down the road, your charger breaks, you can't take your S5 charger and plug it in, it doesn't fit. However, with a type, I think it's a type B to a type C, or it might be a type C to a type B, I don't know, but whatever the change whatever the name for the change is basically from old samsung's to new samsung's um you've got the swap over that will literally clip onto the end of your old samsung charger and then allow you to plug your old cha samsung charger into your new one and the new charger port is really good, the new charger port with the um, charger cable, because on the old ones, you had these two little clips that stuck down in the middle. Not in the middle, like each end, left on the left side and the right side. And as they push in, as they start to wear out and bend in, they lose the connection with the um, with the basically the board at the bottom. And that's what causes it to stop charging. Whereas with the new chargers, it's a whole round oval shaped thing and it's universal. So you can plug it in either way. And what that means is it's connected all round at all times. So you never get that loose charger connection type thing. At least that's the idea behind it. Whereas on the old ones, even though you've got like 
the shape of the board thing that clips into it and everything like that. It's actually those two little pins that stick down. They stick down past the metal and touch the um, circuit board at the bottom. And when they start to no longer bend down, they start to jam into the um, metal of your charger itself, then it no longer connects the circuit and you get that loose connection rubbish and you become unable to charge your phone. So, uh, yeah, this is a pretty good thing that they have done when it comes to fixing that problem. And um, that uh, swap over port thing, the type B to type C swap over, well, change or whatever you call it, is quite handy for if your charger does break or something like that or the cat chews on it or... Something like that. So, uh, yeah. Now um, I'm going to... Actually, I'm going to pause this a moment. Okay, so I've gone on... Yes, yeah, it's recording. I've gone on eBay. These are the ones that are on here. I've actually loaded it up from my internet instead of through Facebook. So this is one of the ones that's actually live right now. And I'm just going to double check to make sure this is the same person. So first of all, we're going to take a quick look at the descriptions. Yeah, this is exactly how we put it up last time. This one's still active. From Essex, exactly the same. And if I click on it should be that GCOM something, shouldn't it? So let's go. Contact seller. This is not working. You run into a problem, try again later. Already signed in, yes, because I'm signing through Facebook. Oh, for fuck's sakes. You telling me I've got to close the Facebook one in order to be able to get in? Yeah, looks like I'm going to have to wait for a bit before I can get in. What well, is there somewhere else that can tell me who the seller is? But yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to sell sellers of items. Yeah, he does loads of stuff. If I remember correctly, this is, that's the one we're looking at now, isn't it? And mine was exactly like that, which means there should be... Let's have a look. So we got that one. What's this? That's the SA. So he sells the um, S8 Plus for £409.95. Uh, £409. That means there should be another 300 one down here somewhere. Which would be the one that I've brought. Unless he just basically recontinued. The one that expired. Yeah, it looks like that's what he did. He recontinued the one that expired. So, yeah. 
I'll send, what I'll do is I'll put this, um, the link to this in the description. So you'll be able to know what you should be looking for. New factory set. Basically look through this one, even when it's expired. It'll give you an idea of what you should be looking for, by looking out for when it comes to buying these phones. Watch this video, even though it's quite long, because it does quickly touch upon checking out the comments, the feedback, all that type of stuff, the description on the phones and what it's telling you to make sure that you're not going to get scammed. So, yeah, make sure you go through the stuff pretty carefully, you know what I mean? Just scroll down, check what's telling you about the conditions, have a look at how many of them that they've already sold. That tells you really if it's factory-based or not, which is preferably where you want to be getting them from. Get them brand new from the factory, made, ready, and with all the stuff if you can. You know what I mean? And this guy is a pretty good one because you do get all the stuff. And I'll when I can get my mate to come down here again and upload the video, I will upload the unboxing video that we made on his phone, which shows you all the stuff that I got when I brought my S8. So, yeah. I just hope he hasn't deleted the video because I want it on my channel. So, uh, yeah, um, let's see if it'll let me do this now. I don't think it will. Yeah, I knew it was going to do that. You know what, I'm going to try signing in with Twitter. I'm going to pause this a moment. Okay, we can continue the video. We'll sign in now. It shouldn't show my password because I haven't clicked show. Not now. Yeah, it's definitely the same person. Gcom. This is the guy you want to be getting it from. So make sure you click on contact seller. And I would suggest get it off this guy. Because what I got was spot on. It was brilliant. I will share you. Oh, well, I will put in the description. No, don't, no, don't move anymore. Don't want to download contact blocker. Cross that off. I scroll up and you'll be able to see this is the one that gone it's just lagging on me this is the one that's currently active as you can see it's not saying that it's expired so this is the one that's on right now you're looking at basically for the 375 one click on contact seller make sure you're getting it from this guy and uh yeah otherwise if um when you see this video if they've run out what you can do, if you want to buy from, make sure you buy from this person, I would suggest you to do that. You scroll down to about the seller, click on seller of items, and have a look, see which ones he's currently got going on right now. I believe these are all the ones that he's currently selling right now. So this is the one we're looking at, the second one, but he's also got these, these, these and because I know that this guy does sell you the legit phones high quality no problems at all I would suggest go to this guy I mean you can go gamble and pick up a cheaper one and end up getting a reconditioned or one that's on its way out if you choose to but i like people like this who literally i'm gonna let me just do this okay who literally buy them from the factories and then sell them on select or copy i will be putting this in the description so now you know how to do the contact seller thing. You know how to go down, choose the colour you want. Let's say we want it in black. How many you want, that's the quantity. You know what I mean? You can 
that's to buy now so you don't have to bid on it you can have a look for the bidding ones and try to get them even cheaper if you want but it's a gamble on what you're going to get you know what i mean you might get it cheap and then you could end up getting a cheap rubbish version of the phone or even a fake phone and i can guarantee you this guy sells legit stuff because i've got one <laughs> And I've done the benchmark test and everything. You know what? Actually, I'm going to do a recording. I'll do a video on my S8 and me doing the benchmark test. So you can see the specs that come up and everything like that. So yeah, you just scroll down to here about the seller. Seller of other items. So sellers of other items. Click on this and it will show you all the stuff this guy is currently selling. There's his name. So yeah, this is, if you type that in on the search, it should bring you straight to his stuff. And this is what I mean, that if you type that in on the search, it'll take you straight to his page. And I do suggest go to his page. Because I can guarantee you, you're not going to get ripped off with it. You will get your phone. And you will get it with all the stuff saying here. This is, you see that? I'm going to go, where is it? That's the charger port. This thing down here, oh, you can't see my touch. At the bottom, you've got what looks like a pick at the bottom right. Well, that's choose to take the SIM card out. Or put a SIM card in. Next to that, you've got the uh, swap over that I was telling you about. And you'll be able to see it in my video when I upload the video my, my friend's got on his phone. From when I did the unboxing. And uh, yeah, you literally get all of this stuff that you see on here. So, uh, go for it guys. Get it while you can. So you scroll down, that's the about the seller. Remember you can click on read more here to take a look at their feedbacks. Always make sure you do that. You want to make sure you're getting stuff that's going to be legit. One gone wait, how do we see their comments? Recent feedback. Is it from that? There is a way to view comments. There we go. Is that it? That's recent. That's feedbacks. I don't want to end this video until I find out how to read their comments because I've gone onto the read comments before and it is important to be able to read people's comments. About this server. Uh, Gotta be from here somewhere if I remember correctly. There we go. So this will tell you some of the comments. Check the positive ones. So would, well those that have voted positive. Would use again. Yeah, received with thanks. Arrived so and so. I did find one where um, somebody says, um, when they got it, they were noticing that there was, seems to be a problem with the battery of not holding the charge. No, not holding, it's not, not holding the charge. What was it? Oh, of it taking a while to charge. 
Well, other than that, works just fine. That's what um, one of the comments said, which made it seem, when I looked at it, generally legit, you know what I mean? Somebody who put a lot of stars on, had um, got the phone, liked it, and was honest about, well, there's this problem where it seemed, apparently, they said that it seemed to be um, having a problem where it was taking... A long period of time to charge. I think it was like four or five hours to fully charge. I don't get that problem with mine, but as I said, you can get dodgy ones from the shop, well, from factories, from time to time. And he may have picked up a bad one. But of course, if you don't like it, you can send it back within 30 days. The guy who runs this as a business he has the, uh, what happens is you buy them from the factory and then after um, up to a period of time, I believe he'd be able to return those that, he, that have been sent back due to problems with damages or stuff like that. As long as you haven't caused the damage. So if you've brought one where it's got like a problem with the battery or something like that, you could send it back and order a different one. For me personally, my phone worked brilliantly. Don't have a problem with charge or anything. Well, I wouldn't know. My phone never leaves the charge. I'm always on the games. But uh, yeah. So here's where you go into the comments. You can have a look at the feedbacks on here. Let's see if it, what the negative ones say. Let's see what this says. This phone is refurbished. Believe me, it isn't. And not new as stated in item details and in message code. Okay, whatever. Okay, yeah, very, very pleased with no, with my purchase. Thank you. Then why did that go in negative if that person's very pleased? Um, okay. Yeah, the order has not arrived. He probably sent that um, before getting it. I mean, I did notice with mine, to be fair, it did take nearly a month to arrive. No, or was it a month? That was about... No, it was about two or three weeks it took for me to get the phone. So you do get it within a month. But um, also, the guy actually contacts you and lets you know the arrival date. And my brother messaged me telling me it would arrive on the 28th. And he got it that exact day. So, yeah. Item never received. And then to that same person. No, someone else. Item never received. Very poor seller. Money refunded after 18 days waiting. So that's a bad one. So yeah, there's a few bad ones here. Either that, or this is somebody who doesn't like the guy. But, um, yeah. So these are, over the last month, there's been 500 and something positive, three neutral, three negative. But I would suggest go to this guy. That's where I went to. The phone I got was spot on. Perfect. And, yeah. I'll end it here. And uh, what else should I do? Oh, yeah, that's right. I want to make sure. I've, I've already done this, but I want to make sure I've definitely done this. Oh, there's Fortnite on there. I haven't downloaded it. Oh, yes, yeah, probably because I got my S8, so it's probably updated my S8. My S8's got, um, the, you know, that Fortnite game that people have been going crazy over. There's a mobile version to it. My S8 has actually got, um, actually meets the requirements for running the Fortnite mobile on the phone. I might actually download that at some point and try it out on the phone. 
But if I was to try to run it out on the, uh, download it on this phone, it wouldn't meet the specs because um, I think it's to do with this type of screen you've got. It's got to be, um, for, I think, 64 some, of something, but mine's a 30. No, it's the bit. So it's got to be a 64 bit. But if you're a 32 bit, it won't work. But the, uh, uh, what's it called now? The Antutu app that you uh, can use to check the. Um, benchmark brand of your phone and the specs on it and all that will actually tell you if your phone is a 32-bit or a 64-bit well my s8 meets the requirements for fortnite so that means his mine's a 64-bit which is better than a 32 obviously right so this is select or copy i'm gonna end this video here because it's dragged on a little bit longer than planned and um, I'll put this site in the description. Actually, I'm going to cross this out now and make sure that it's going to work. I'm just going to load up as is. Make sure it'll take me to the site. Actually, that might not be what I want to screenshot. That's just for this. No, so it's a good job I did that. What I want a screenshot is this. I don't want the feedback page. I want this. Wait, let's make sure this is the right one first before I do this. And I'll get rid of this. I like that. 115 sold. More than 10 available. That's good. When I brought mine, there was less than 10 available. So I was lucky to get it in the colour I wanted. Um, that's a 115. When I brought mine, it was at 590. So that means this guy's probably got another 600 in. So from the part from the day I upload this video, you've got plenty of time to pick one up. This is the active one, isn't it? Yep, this is live. Yep, this is live. It's not ended. Okay, we'll copy this. Copy. There we go. And now what I'm going to do, we're going to go to Google. And now we're going to click on here. We're going to cross this. We're going to paste. Make sure I've copied the whole of the link. Yep. So that's loading up. Oh, I'm gone. Log in. I hate lag. Installed. Yes, this is the active one. You already know the buyer's name as you've seen it in this video. So, yep, I'll end this video here. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Remember, get a new phone because you're going to need one. At least in a year's time, when when um, Sword of Shadows updates, you're not going to be able to run the game because there's going to be too much updates going on, which is going to put too much strain on the device. And well, you've seen what happens. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.